Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to Rob Motive. Do you find that people don't respect the Toyota Tacoma, or trucks in general, for that matter? You know, the longer I've been doing this, and the more I pay attention because I have a truck, a Toyota Tacoma, it's become apparent to me that there is a lack of respect for trucks. You know, they don't get the same consideration as, say, a sports car or a luxury car, or really even a brand new car. Now, what I'm talking about is there's this thinking out there that because a Tacoma is rough and rugged, I mean, it's a truck, that it shouldn't be respected, that it should be treated differently than other vehicles out there. I mean, you hear that a lot in the comments, you know, you talk about basically anything that has to do with the usage of it or maybe the mods that you add to it or even washing it and people say well it's a truck and I'm always thinking well yeah it's a truck but it still costs the same spendable money as a luxury car potentially depending on what level you go with or a sports car or whatever I mean it's still something you have to spend your hard-earned money on right now, I, an example of that, you know, a few years back, I knew somebody that lended a truck, or lent, which one is it, that gave a truck to somebody to use for moving. And when they got it back, noticed that there were some extra dents in it, and the tailgate was broken. Now, the bad thing about this for that individual is the people that borrowed it didn't say a word about it. They broke the tailgate, they just put it back up and, and gave it back, never mentioned it. Now, what I mean by broken is that they broke one of the straps on the side, you know, the older ones, I guess even the new ones, they have those cables on the side that hold the bed or the, the tailgate. Well, they broke one of those. And I think it's probably because they either stood on it, these were some big fellas, or they rested something really heavy on the tailgate and kind of snapped or broke that cable never said a word and I think it goes back to that well it's a truck you know since you can use the tailgate to step on or whatever it shouldn't break and if it does well it's meant to happen because it's just a truck same thing goes with the way that they're treated in everyday use I think for instance I used to take my one of my Tacomas in to get dirt I would take it into the nursery and they would bring one of those big old bobcats or whatever with a front loader on it and they would drop dirt into the truck now there's a couple of ways that you can do that right you can raise that bucket up and you can just push and have the dirt slam down into the truck the truck bounces all over the place who knows what it does to the suspension right you could break a leaf spring you could potentially block or break one of the blocks underneath you might even damage the way the exhaust is fastened on there the way that everything moves around but they don't care because it's a truck. Now, I've had others, and this is why I bring this up, others that have cared, and that when you go to them, they'll kind of let the dirt slowly fall into the truck so that it doesn't slam the bed. Just another example of people not respecting the Toyota Tacoma in this case, because that's what I was driving when I took it in. You know, parking lots are another great example I have found. On the rare occasion that I have to park next to somebody, and this is probably true with any vehicle, and it's a problem out there, I think, with people just respecting property in general. You pull into a space, this just happened the other day with my mom and I, and this wasn't the Tacoma, it was a Gladiator. We were at the grocery store, she had driven her Gladiator, and we parked in a spot where when we pulled in, there was plenty of room on both sides, no big deal. We come out and there's some big old junker piece of junk uh, van parked right next to us. I mean, I was gonna go in the passenger rear side to put the groceries in the back, you know, where nobody was sitting. And I couldn't because it was so close, I couldn't even leave the cart behind the truck and put the groceries in. I couldn't open the door far enough. And it's like, come on, man. I mean, I don't do that. I don't pull in so close next to people that they can't open their doors. Now, I do that for a selfish reason because I don't want to come out and have the side of my car or truck dented because I make them mad and they slam their door into it and dent my car. I'll tell you one other story. There was a long time ago, this is actually a car, but it's the same kind of thing. I was at a movie theater and I had bought a brand new Grand Am 
used to love those cars. And I was at the movie theater and I actually parked in a spot where on the left side, the driver's side of me was up against uh, like a median. There was nowhere to park. The right side uh, was next to another parking spot. There was nobody in it when I pulled up. I thought I could get far enough over. No way would I have a problem. I come out and there's a note on my windshield. Now this is the good thing. They at least left a note. But they told me that they, they had their kid, I guess, had opened the door. It was a very windy day. Lost control of the door. I think it must have been their rear door. I don't know. But they opened the door and it put a dent on the side of my brand new Grand Am. I'd had it less than two months. Still had the temporary tag on the back. Now, when I called the guy, and this is where it was kind of interesting. I called the guy and he said, told me that story that his kid had opened the door or whatever. And he said that he left the note because he saw the temporary tag on the car, knew it was a new car, and couldn't just do nothing because it was new. So I got to thinking, well, gee, does it mean that if it wasn't brand new or I didn't have a temporary tag on the back that he would have just done nothing? Sounded like it to me. And I'm thinking, man, what a disrespectful thing to do. Uh, fortunately, he did have somewhat of a conscience and did leave a note. Cost about three grand to get it fixed uh, because it was a pretty good gouge in the side of the car. Another thing that he mentioned, it almost sounded like if it had been less of a dent, still a dent, he would have done nothing and just left. That kind of stuff really pisses me off. I mean, I spent a lot of money for these vehicles. We all do. I mean, when you're spending 30 grand or I don't care what it is, if it's 10 grand, it's still a lot of money. I mean, are you going to take 10 grand and just throw it in the garbage? I mean, I wouldn't. So I think there is just a general lack of respect for trucks because they're trucks. The Tacoma and others, people think that because they're designed to do things, either go off-road or haul stuff or whatever, that they're not as important, that it doesn't matter if you damage them, even if you damage them in a way that has nothing to do with their utility. In other words, maybe putting something in the bed where you could scratch the bed. Obviously, that's damaging the truck, but it is meant to haul stuff. That's why it has a bed, so a little more palatable if that happens, and that's why you should get a bed mat. Highly recommend those, by the way. Anyway, I just wanted to get on, talk about that a little bit. Do you agree? Do people have a general disrespect for trucks because they're trucks? Leave a comment. I'd be curious to know. Also, real quick, I do have two additional channels. Rob Motive Rides, all about the Mercedes-Benz, all kinds of mods and things I'm attempting to do to that car. And Rob Motive JT, all about the Jeep Gladiator. Check them out, and if you're interested, please consider subscribing. And don't forget, click the subscribe button here, too. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there and respectful. Bye.